What's the word? Huh? What's the word? What's the word? Hop on the scene like what's the word? Original visuals back with another one, do it no other way. Changing the colorway. Louis is minimal, blue act with the royal ones. Ran a individual, rude boy is my native tongue. Nike my ritual, quality, this is on feet. Everything digital, need kicks, you can call me. Value is critical, clean whip, this is all me Pull up with the package so nothing is average The latest of fashion, subscribe to the channel I'll give you the status if you wanna grab it Hop on the scene, like what's the word? Original visuals, back with another one Do it no other way, changing the colorway Louis is minimal, blue act with the royal ones Ray individual, rude boy is my native tongue Nike my ritual, nigga What's the word, YouTube? And I'm back with another visual from your boy Original. And you see what we got going on here, y'all. A bunch of Jordans for your head top. But before we get into the top 10 Jordans of 2022, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so the top 10 Jordan pickups of 2022. It was an enlightening year. Some heat drop, straight heat, you know what I'm saying? 2022 was a very fulfilling year for me when it came to these jigs. I had some really, really nice pickups. So stay tuned, get your popcorn, get your drinks, and get a load of what we got popping. Okay, so we're gonna start with the honorable mention, Chrome 6. The Chrome 6 is released November 26th, and I always wanted these Chrome 6s. These are fire, like very easy to match. The suede is nice and dark. These Jordan 6s is fire, and they're not going for so much on your resale websites. I'm not sure if they're on Foot Locker or Finish Line. You may have to do some look up, but you gotta look up to see that. But I, I know they're on your StockX GOAT and stuff like that. The Jordan 6 to me is a very minimal shoe, especially when it's predominantly black like this with that little hit of color at the bottom. And when it comes to the 6, I like simple. I like less. Less is more when it comes to this Jordan 6. 6 that tend to have the toe box a different color and the side paneling a different color. I don't, I like when a Jordan 6 has this black all over it with that little bit of color on the bottom. So shout out to the Jordan 6 honorable mention. On to number 10. Let's get this countdown started. Okay, so we're going to start this countdown off with number 10, the Citrus 7. The Citrus 7 is fire. These with a nice pair of camo bottoms is going to hit. These released August 13th, 2022, 
and they just been sitting waiting for me to do this video. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video of this Citrus 7 right here, it's on my YouTube. Check it out, man. I have a whole review on foot of this shoe right here. So the Citrus 7, I love the yellow stitching going on here, the red hits, the yellow. These are fire. Why did y'all sleep on these? I'm telling you, a lot of shoes that released last year sat. Just because people are calling them bricks doesn't mean you can't cop them, man. Cop what you like, not what everybody else likes. Buy what you like, y'all. So, number 10, Citrus 7. On to number 9, y'all. All right, so number 9, the Cardinal 7s. These are fire. So clean. The Cardinal 7s are fire. Super clean. All the colors on the shoe correspond very well together. I don't understand why an iconic silhouette to Jordan 7 like this would be sitting in any stores. We haven't seen this shoe since 2006. That should give us reason enough, you know what I'm saying, to once they come back, to scrape them all up. But that's not the case. Honestly, if it's not a hype, they sit, and when they sit, they bricks. Leave them all for me. I'll scoop them all up. Because every time I scoop up a so-called brick and throw them on, people always act like they never seen the shoe before. Oh, where'd you get those? Where did, where is that? Bro, they're in the store where you walk past them. The Jordan 7 silhouette to me is one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? I love the Jordan 7. I love this colorway. It's super clean. If you have not grabbed these, make sure you do. I expect this shoe to go up in price. Not fast, but through, up through time. It will go up. Trust me, this is number nine, the Cardinal 7s. On to number eight, the Midnight Navy Jordan 4. These are so clean. Again, this is another shoe I expect to raise in price extremely high. Not right now, but I think as time goes on, this shoe is gonna go up in price. The colorway is super clean. We have that crisp navy blue, fresh white throughout. We have the cement gray going on. These look like the white cements, bro. Just take out the black and put navy blue. Why would you not want these? These are fire, a super clean colorway, very easy to rock, not too much in price, but jump on it now before the resale price is too high. You know what I'm saying? These are super clean, super easy to rock, hits of red, you can play off that. The Midnight Navy 4, y'all. Okay, y'all, number seven, the Taxi Ones. This is another joint that I expected to do crazy. In. I felt like the numbers with these were going to be crazy, but I don't think they sat in stores. But if you guys know about the bread toe ones, the bread toe ones that released in 2017, February, no, 2018, excuse me. These are about $500 right now. Same color blocking with the just yellow. And the numbers, the resale numbers are reasonable. I give it about a year, a year and some change. This shoe right here is going to be the same price as this shoe. The color blocking on these, to me, are the best ones. I love when the toe and the back heel have the same color with the right around the, with the black around the toe cap. I love that. I love ones with this color block. So, the Taxi Ones. This is a really smooth colorway. For those who slept on these, I'm sorry. But if you want these, grab them now before the prices are too high. I don't believe the resale prices are too high as to it'll scare you away to buying them. You know what I'm saying? But keep them in the back of your mind and try and get these when you can. These are five. The Taxi Ones, number seven. Moving on to number six, y'all. Okay, so number six, the Military Black Fours. Really? These are so fire. I love these Military Black Fours. So clean, but yet plain. These joints aren't even that crazy. But I'm telling you, sometimes how simple a shoe is is how great a shoe can be too. So if this colorway looks familiar, we get this colorway from the Military Blues. The Military Black, woo-wee! You can rock these with anything, y'all. Any outfit you feel like wearing, you can throw these joints on to match. So that's why I love this shoe so much. It's so easy to match, it's so clean, and it's one of my favorite numbers of Jordan, the four. These speak to me, man. I love the gray toe cap, that suede toe cap. Oh my gosh, these are fire. The whole shoe's predominantly white with a little bit of black and gray to play off of. Fire shoe, the military black fours, y'all. This is number six. On to number five. Okay, so number five, the Red Thunder Fours, AKA the Crimson. We gonna call these the Red Thunder though. I don't know where they got that Crimson from. These are the Red Thunders, man. They have a name for every single shoe. It's kind of getting ridiculous at this. Every shoe has a name. We gonna call these the Red Thunders. These are fire. 
This colorway, we never seen it before. It debuted January 15th, 2022. Guys, these are fire, man. If you didn't get these, I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry because prices on these are kind of high. A lot of shoes that you guys think is, are going to be bricks were not. So if you like it, grab it. Stop waiting for other people to say they don't like it or they do like it for you to make up your mind. If you like them, grab them. That's what I did with these. I seen them. At first, I'm like, that red is too bright or the thunders look just like it. Or what I love about this shoe is the white hits. The white jump man on the back, the white jump man on the front. The red is very vibrant, bright with the black. So it makes it makes a subtle and bright look when it comes to these joints. These red thunders are fire to me in my humble opinion. I'm so happy I acquired them. I have not worn them. I have a video up of these earlier last year, January something last year, I dropped a video. So check it out if you want to get a detailed review on these. These are fire. I'm happy I have them in hand. And that is number five. On to number four, y'all. Okay, so the Playoff 12s. These released March 4th, earlier last year. Iconic silhouette, iconic colorway. What is there bad to say about these right here? Absolutely nothing. There's one thing I have, have to say about it. The fact that the bottom is white and you're only gonna get a few good wears out of these, it drives me insane because I love this shoe. And every time I wanna wear this shoe, it has to look like this fresh as soon as you start wearing it that brown that you get on the bottom starts to turn yellow and you can't get them back after they turn yellow so for those who know and for those who may not know there's a sole sticker you can put under your shoes to stop them from turning yellow or even getting dirty i'm okay with that y'all that's the feat and the purpose of even having shoes the purpose is to wear your shoes now people are putting stickers on the bottom like a clear sticker to prevent them from getting dirty Y'all, it's kind of getting crazy out there. I know you're gonna prevent your shoes from yellowing up, and, but that's the whole point, is to wear your shoes, man. It's kind of crazy what's going on. Shout out to all you guys who are putting those on your shoes, but me, I'm keeping it strictly OG. I'm rocking them. I'm not putting anything on the bottom of my sole. But shout out to y'all who do. It is a cool touch, and to see that you, you're able to wear your shoes and not get them dirty, it's kind of cool. I'm just not with it. Personally, I'm not. So the play off 12, iconic silhouette, fire. I'm so happy I acquired these in my collection. You know, I do not know where I'm gonna wear them. And um, resale on these are not too high. So if you want them, push the button now before it gets crazy. The play off 12, y'all, number four. On to number three. All right, y'all, we starting to heat up. The fire red threes. These are gas. The fire red threes. For real, I feel like this shoe wasn't a highly anticipated shoe for a lot of shoe people out there. But for me, it was. I love an OG colorway, but even more than that, the Nike Air on the back. When I have a Jordan and it has the Nike Air on the back, I don't know, y'all. I feel different. I love to see that Nike Air tag on them Jordans, man. There's something about Jordans that have that Nike on it. It just makes these so fire. So the Fire Red 3s, man, a very iconic silhouette, iconic colorway. Nothing bad to say about these. Great quality. Colorway is out the roof. It makes them clean. This is an OG, so I could not let these sit. I had to acquire these and make them be a part of my collection. So the Fire Red's number three, on to number two, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we're down to the last two. Number two is the Jordan 2 Chicago. I was super late to acquire these to my collection. Shout out my little brother who works at Finish Line. He told me his shipment was gonna be late when these released on December 30th. But I get all my releases through Foot Locker. And isn't it kind of ironic that my last shoe was the Jordan 3 and it was number three? This one is a two and it's number two. Let's, let's see what number one is, y'all. On to number one, man. Okay, so y'all, number one. The Jordan Lost and Found Chicago Ones is my number one, y'all. These was a fire release. This was the best release all year, in my humble opinion. These are straight different. The detail, colorway, the story, everything about this shoe is the reason why it's number one. This is a fire way to end the year, even though we're at the beginning of the year. Shout out to all y'all who helped me reach 500 before January. You know what I'm saying? It's because of y'all that my channel is growing. Thank you for rocking with me. I really appreciate y'all. But before I end this video out, man, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated, man. Thank you.